the next command I'm going to show is the run command and the flags that are on that. So we're going to do Docker run, uh, and we're going to set the runtime to NVIDIA so that we can see those GPUs. I'm going to do an interactive container. So it dash it uh, gives you a interactive uh, bash shell kind of experience. You can also detach and run in the background with dash D, uh, but most of the examples I'm going to use dash IT. The next flag you'll see me use often is dash dash RM, which tells the container to clean up after itself after it's done running. Uh, by default, they stick around with logs of standard out and other things, uh, and they eventually build up in your system. If you need to debug something, you do not want to be using the dash dash RM flag because you will need that information to debug. And I'm going to use the PyTorch container here. By default, all the NGC containers will give you a bash shell if you just run them with uh, nothing else additional here. So you see I'm in the PyTorch container, lots of copyright notices, uh, and I'm in a workspace directory. This is now a completely isolated environment from the host system. It can see the GPUs uh, because we gave it that runtime flag but it is not able to get any of files or anything else really in the system. It's completely isolated. It means I don't have my home directory or anything else mounted as well. I just have the PyTorch software in this case. So I'm actually gonna exit out of this and show you another flag. If I want to mount my home directory, so I'm gonna do a dash V flag, and I'm actually gonna do dollar sign home slash mount. And I would like those files to appear, that directory in my home directory on the host to appear in slash home inside the container. Now, if I run this again and go to the root directory, uh, you will see there is a home directory. And if I go into the home directory, you'll see four files that I put in that home directory on, on the system. So if you have code, Python scripts, uh, your Git repo, other things like that. This is how you get so you can see them from inside the container. You use this dash V flag. So I'm going to exit out of this container again. So I want to show one more flag that's pretty useful, especially if you're running things in the background uh, or in the cloud or something, is this dash E flag. So dash E is to set an environment variable within the container when it's run. Uh, so if you're passing parameters, lots of software likes to act on environment variables. This is how you get those variables into the container. So if I run this with dash E, NGC equals awesome, and I do an ENV and look for the NGC, you'll see that that environment variable is set. So this is another great way to control your software. I'm going to just do a quick demonstration of a PyTorch run just to show you that uh, it does in fact run. So in, in the PyTorch container, uh, slash opt PyTorch is where things are. Uh, and I'm gonna run a little MNIST example here. Uh, you can see there's a main.py, uh, readme and requirements, of course. Uh, but if I just do Python main.py, this particular example downloads the MNIST set uh, data set uh, and then processes it. Now this is all going to happen on the Titan V that is on this host. And this uh, takes a little while to start up, as most things do in deep learning. Uh, it's now process the images, uncompressed them, and gotten them ready for processing. And you can see now it's running training epics and the Loss will, of course, improve as it runs. Uh, you can see that finished. Uh, great loss and accuracy when it's finished.